We reserve a few minutes every Sunday to discuss current trends you'd expect from reading Bible prophecy. We are futurists, interpreting the unfulfilled prophetic portions of the book of Daniel and the book of the Revelation and other unfulfilled Bible prophecies as future events that will occur in a literal, physical, apocalyptic, and global context. I've been talking a lot about the COVID-19 vaccine mandates. Now, I'm not talking about whether you ought to be vaccinated or not. I'm not talking about whether vaccination should be mandated or not. I'm not suggesting anything that is partisan towards any political party or position. Uh, we all have our opinions. Our, opi our uh, approach here at Calvary is to let you make up your own mind about those kinds of things because we think you're smart and, and that you can do it. And so we're not taking a position. We're trying to see how this uh, talks about Bible prophecy. During the future seven-year Great Tribulation, I'll read it to you, all both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, must receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads. No one may buy or sell except the one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. And so that's the thing I want to center on is that no one will able to be able to buy or sell. There'll be a restriction on your activities. Citizens in the future Great Tribulation will be mandated to participate in a system by which they must produce proof of compliance in order to be allowed to work or shop or dine or to attend entertainment. Without that proof, their livelihood and their lifestyles will be punished and restricted. And so what's happening today is that global uh, citizens are being mandated to participate in a system by which they must produce proof of compliance in order to be allowed to work or shop or dine or attend entertainment. And without that proof, uh, in the form of some kind of vaccine passport, uh, your livelihood and your lifestyle will be restricted. I mean, just as a fact, a lot of employers are requiring proof, uh, and a lot of establishments are as well, proof of vaccination. It's even scarier because our leaders at all levels of government, federal, state, and local, are starting to sound really authoritarian about this. President Biden, the leader of the free world, citing the unvaccinated, said they're killing people. I mean, look, the only pandemic we have is among the unvaccinated, and they're killing people. Dr. Anthony Fauci, chief medical advisor to President Biden, said that Americans who remain unvaccinated against the coronavirus are propagating the latest outbreak of cases of the highly contagious Delta variant. We've really got to get these people to, con, uh, to change their minds, make it easy for them, convince them, do something to get them to be vaccinated because they are the ones that are propagating this outbreak. Pam Keith, a former nominee for a Florida congressional seat, thinks the government should suspend benefits to unvaccinated people. The Department of Homeland Security released an advisory summarizing the current terrorism threat and mentioned grievances over public health safety measures and perceived government restrictions as potential domestic terror threats. And so those who uh, have problems with uh, what the government is doing in mandating certain things, uh, they uh, are considering them potential domestic terrorists. Deputy Attorney General Jeffrey Rosen sent U.S. attorneys and federal law enforcement agencies a memo informing Department of Justice officials that they should consider prosecuting certain purposeful exposure or infection of others with COVID-19 under federal terrorism-related statutes. The memo followed warnings from the FBI that white supremacist groups were encouraging members who became sick to spread the virus to Jewish people, uh, minorities, and police officers, suggesting that members could use spray bottles leave bodily fluids on door handles, or spit on elevator buttons. This is, the, this is uh, real stuff. And, and so I don't want to get off track here right now, but um, suppose that the government says churches can't meet, and then we meet. Uh, we could potentially be domestic terrorists that are spreading COVID. Uh, that's, that's really what it boils down to. The governor of Alabama said it's time to start blaming the unvaccinated folks. Governor Phil Murphy of New Jersey turned on hecklers saying, you're the ultimate knuckleheads. And because of what you are saying and standing for, people are losing their life. 
Washington Governor Jay Inslee said last week, there's no reason on this green earth why people who are vaccinated should lose the right to go to a restaurant or go to school or go to work because some folks won't get vaccinated. That's not right. It's not fair. Our Governor Newsom said an individual's choice is not to, uh, an individual's choice not to get vaccinated is now impacting the rest of us in a profound, devastating and deadly way. Hawaii Lieutenant Governor Josh Green said it's a small minority that is otherwise condemning society to a lockdown and potentially large scale death. L.A. City Councilman Mitch O'Farrell was quoted. We're not going to deny anyone the ability to access essentials, food, medicine, etc., regardless of vaccination. But what is immoral is choosing not to get vaccinated. In other words, they won't let you starve, but they are going to do something. L.A. City Attorney Mike Feuer endorsed the idea that he calls no shot, no admission. He said those who reject that responsibility should temporarily lose some of society's privileges until their reckless behavior no longer endangers the rest of us. People were surveyed as to why, uh, who they blame for the resurgence of COVID-19 infections. A whopping 79% of vaccinated Americans blame unvaccinated Americans. So we're starting to have a divide uh, between two classes of people, vaccinated and unvaccinated. Uh, and the government is calling them uh, the unvaccinated killers, spreading death. Uh, it's deadly, immoral, those kinds of things. Uh, which, you know, that kind of rhetoric uh, encourages people in one group to do things to people in the other group. More and more COVID-19 is being described as the pandemic of the unvaccinated. The labeling is intensifying the rhetoric of killing terrorism and social consequences for the unvaccinated. Uh, again, not talking about vaccines, whether you should get them, talking about what is happening as a result of the government. Step back, you look at the big picture, the entire planet is on the verge of a system of social credit based on government mandates in which good citizens are rewarded and bad ones are punished. And if this doesn't stop, it's just the beginning of, of things that are going to be mandated to make you a better citizen. It is very Revelation 13-ish, I say. Now, of course, we believe the resurrection and rapture of the church is imminent. It could happen any moment. Nothing needs to happen before it does. And it will happen, as we'll see today in our study, before the Great Tribulation. Are you ready for the rapture? If not, get ready and stay ready and keep looking up. Ready or not, Jesus is coming. Back.